Permitting an official of the Camden Airport Commission to be interested in contracts with the City of Camden. Is there a motion? So moved. Is there a motion to approve? Motion to approve. Motion to approve. Well, we'll see. I guess we we'll suspend, suspend the rules and put it up for a third reading. Yeah. You know. Motion to suspend and put it up for a second. And it's been moved and second ready for discussion. Roll call. Argan? Yes. Lindsay? Yes. Moore? Yes. Askew? Yes. Simmons? Yes. Galbert? Yes. Bell? Yes. Smith? Yes. Motion to approve. Make a motion to second. We move and second. I'm ready for discussion. Discussion. I notice we, we, and, and, I don't have a problem with some of them and the significance of it, but we've been slowly leaning toward doing business with the city as, as individuals. And uh, I'm, I'm one of them old schools. I like a little separation from church and state. Uh, I, I think there are cases where we have to because we don't have a vendor or somebody to provide that service. But I, I, I don't know, sometimes I think we're getting a little comfortable with it and a little too comfortable where we being, we are doing business with ourselves in a sense. And uh, I just want to say that and, and I'm through with it. Is there any more discussion? May I say something? <clears throat> Please. This ordinance is on the books. We already have yes, one. Yes, ma'am. I remember when we voted it on there. Um, it did not have a deadline on it. The sure. auditors have been here the past few weeks, and they want a deadline. You know all about so that's the reason. The only reason it is here is because it has an ending date. No, this that's this this started a long time ago. It did. Yes. But his was open ended, and the auditor wants everything to have an ending date. So no, this would no have problem. an ending date. No problem. Right. I think we need a lot of sunset clauses. Any more discussion? Roll call. Argood? Yes. Askew? Yes. Galbert? Yes. Bell? Yes. Lindsay? Yes. Moore? Yes. Simmons? Yes. Smith? Yes. Passes. Resolution number 3119 confirmed the reappointment of Michael Tickle to the A&P Commission. This is introduced by me. Resolution 3119, a resolution of the City Council of the City of Camden, Arkansas, confirming the reappointment of Michael Tidwell to the Advertising and Promotion Commission. Motion to approve. Second. 
We moved in second. Are we ready for discussion? Discussion. <clears throat> um, with this, and I've mentioned this, I'm kind of like Marvin ever since I've been on the council. Uh, Mr. Tickwell, fine man, knowing. Uh, I've no raise about him being on this commission, but the AMP commission, we never see him. Never hear from him, you know. And um, I mean, but we vote these people in on these commissions, but we never see him. Never see him. And I'm asking again for his housing authority, airport, you know, and, you know, show up sometime, once a year, give a report, let us see, you know. And I mean, if if we don't see them, they can vote on the other people. They do what they want to do anyway. I mean, that's my soapbox. I'd like to say something. May I ask what you get the minutes from those meetings? Yes, sir. It, would it be feasible to include some minutes from those meetings in some of our... Yes, I can start doing it. Okay. Um, I'm, yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. Uh, Mr. Mayor, I'm on that committee. And the newspaper here, every time we meet, and it's, it's written up in the paper, too, uh, what happens in our meetings and things are recorded. I'm going to gather I served on the AFP Commission as well. I've been on since the start. I know it, but like I said, you know, we need to show ourselves sometimes. So people, you know, they come to the meeting. They, they don't be able to do this. So if, uh, are there any, I mean, I guess it'd be a general question, but are there any other meetings that you'd like to receive minutes from? Because they, most of them are monthly. Uh, we can certainly put them as part of your package where you can see monthly the activity of what was at least voting on. I think that's the main thing. What they're voting on. Is that another group that you're concerned about or just OMP? I heard the Housing Authority and they've never sent any minutes over. The airport, they sent me a, a little newsletter. But I requested it directly, and they sent me a little newsletter. I, I just think if we govern in these commissions, at least once a year, I agree. They all show up. Show up. I mean, we we don't govern plant the seed. No, but I get the plant the seed. Show up every now and then and let you know what's going on and say thank you. For what they, you know, I'm, I'm just saying. Are you trying to stop me? Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, so well, we have before us again resolution number 3119. We're going to, is there more discussion? Yeah. Okay, we'll do a voice vote. Those in favor, use the voting sign tonight. Aye. Aye. Those opposed, use the same sign. Let's have it again. So, <laughs> For other business, I, I need to bring before you that we have, uh, we went to the garden walk on yesterday and we uh, were, were forced to address some of the issues. Now, school starts tomorrow and so I, I took, school starts today? Today and tomorrow. I apologize. School started today, started today and tomorrow. So. I did not uh, pull water. Uh, I suggested that uh, you guys would make a decision on what should happen. I had we searched, we have nowhere to put the, uh, the people, but there are some issues up there. I have a letter that uh, I asked. Did you? I did not copy this letter. So <laughs> it is. Just kind of briefly. Okay, so that was some violations of some codes. And they have sewer issues, road hazard issues, and we were there at uh, 850 Field Avenue on yesterday. Uh, and I asked them to give me a plan of action of what they're going to do about the codes that were in violation. They gave me a contact number to a particular guy who will be there next Thursday. There is raw uh, sewage running there. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, the children go back to school tomorrow some of them, and so I did not want to destabilize 
children. I called Camden Housing Authority. They have no openings, and it's against the law for them to give preference to any group of people. Uh, and so I could not answer uh, the housing issue for those families that we would displace, and they put me in an awkward uh, position because I went myself to look. Um, Mr. Travis Daniel, the code enforcer, took me to where the violations were. And they are certainly, if there are some violations going on there, I encourage you to go and uh, check us on it, but it's 850 Field Avenue, and they're going to go by. I just, I don't know, it put me in an awkward place. We're, they're in violation of several things. Mr. Mayor, if I may, uh, Travis uh, and this council know we've been dealing with that same thing two administrations ago. And the, the, the plan was, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, with these violations and all the sewage and all that, when the unit gets empty, when you have a whole unit, <coughs> is to shut down that unit, right? To pull meters on the unit when, you know, as long as you don't have, because people have a unit, <coughs> And went down there, visit with them, chip went, and they have nowhere to go. But I thought that was the, the, the course as a unit got empty. And if there was violations, we go to pulling meters and shut down that unit until the owner go to fixing stuff and start that way. How many how many meters do we have there now? It's 17 on the upper level. And uh, everybody's staying on the upper level because the lower levels, uh, the lower some levels. of them are not uh, they're not livable. They're uh, inhabitable. Oh, yeah. And and uh, yeah, there's some issues of of mold. There's some issues where the ceiling is on the floor. And I'm, I did not want to make a decision that would destabilize babies or children the first week of school. And I'm at the mercy of you to help us uh, to make a decision. They have, uh, this letter says that in two, uh, two Thursdays, one, two, the next Thursday, they're going to have someone out uh, to, to, to check on this. But what has happened in the past is they've gone in, got the pump, the pump back working, and they leave. And a few weeks later, Mr. Daniel is right back. They're going through the same thing. I don't have an answer for placing people, and I was uncomfortable. Mr. Mayor, uh, I dealt with this thing for two years. And, and their lift pumps, are, that's what our water man was talking about. Their lift pumps are gone. I went down and physically investigated. They are gone. And they get a little vacuum in them, get them pumping for a while, they get clearance up. But what we're dealing with here is a human issue. Children can't take bacteria like that, not mold like that. And and I'm like you, I can't put them all up. I can't take care of them. It makes me feel bad that I can't do something. You know, I can feed you or whatever the case might be. But those living conditions there, Camden all would just be embarrassed by it. They have two. They have. They, 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 they're asking for two weeks to come and. Uh, uh, Who's they? Uh, the owner. I don't know what I can say. Uh, the contractor. Will you? Will you interpret for me what I? What, I don't know what I can say and what I can't. So. We've been having yeah, sure. problems, but they still are on for years. Yeah. Yeah. Take it away. Just so I'm aware. Uh, I'm aware of the. Uh, place you're talking about. Uh, is that a privately owned Yes it is. Apartment? Okay. And the owner stays in California or something. Right. Northwest. Yeah, yeah. Northwest Arkansas. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. oh he's in Arkansas. Yeah. Yeah. He told me I don't have jurisdiction in further away. They're not gonna do anything about that place. No. But they still taking the rent. Sure. They'll bring the guy, they'll get whatever sure. fixed for a week. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We'll be oh, back yeah. here next year. Units, is that? That's the question. Yes. 
that's what we were saying as units get empty rather than Shut down, don't put let them people them. out. Don't you know, know they pull the meter, don't let them use it. Yeah, when Clay Baker was in office, they come up here in, in, in droves. Mm -hmm. And and that was the you know, they had nowhere to go. But that was the plan as the units get empty. Shut them down. As units get empty, shut them down. Shut that money off. But how, how do we know that? Huh? How would we know that? It's easy. When you get It's easy to know. Well, well if, yeah. if they change the water meters, I mean, I've do they pay their own water? Yes, sir. It depends on the So when they change the name of the water meter, you can know right. that you have to change. Right. So, uh, that, so that sounds like a consensus. That gives us something to start working okay. with. Is that feasible for now? If, if the sewer's working, they go fix the sewer. It's fixed. Yeah. Until it starts running again. That's been that's been my problem. We have building A and electrical fire in it. They hire an electrician to come in and check all the electrical. We have to put those electric gears back in because the electrician signed off on it. Yeah. But and, again in two weeks is another issue. And Mr. Travis, you only have two lift pumps and it's in, inadequate for the amount of units you got back there. Yes, and it's just overloaded. And it's bagging up literally. That's why that bottom section is gone. It's literally bagging up in there. And, and you can put back full valves or whatever you want to. It's well, not how many families are there? Mm -hmm. We only have 17 water meters for the whole active on the upper level. Yeah, and all of them. See, everybody's moved on the upper level. And that pump, Marvin, is barely pumping up the hill. Yeah. Yeah. They're working on it. They just can't get it. Yeah. 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 Y
report, read the PowerPoint, and that was good for us uh, to get a discussion started. Also, the Swap D, Southwest Arkansas Planning Development District, took the opportunity to do a community economic development uh, study. It covers 12 counties, not just Washita, but it studies the whole Southwest, and they produced a booklet that actually would suggest that many of the things that we believe about our community are not true, and that some of the things that we're saying are not data uh, proven. You know, you say, well, can't nobody pass the drug test. It, in the study, that wasn't what the study revealed about our workforce in per se. So, and I have made the mistake of just repeating what people have said about our community to my own shame and much to my chagrin, I have said what people said and that's not enough proof of the things that we have said. They have numbers, they have data to back this stuff up and uh, I encourage all of us to be as positive as we can about our community, especially when it comes to the World Wide Web. There's some things that are, you can't erase once they get out there. And so when we have problems in our community, uh, if you know the phone number to call, I encourage people to call those numbers and give the individual over that department an opportunity to fix it first. Once you go to the World Wide Web, and you start going back and forth, there's a discussion going on right now. We're trying to be as business friendly as we possibly can, uh, and there's a discussion going on right now. I don't want to go too far into it, but it's not fair to hold that type of discussion on Facebook when you could go to some of the people and ask them, well, why was this decision made or why was this done? Uh, but the truth of the matter is that if we're working on community or economic development, we've got to know that everything we do affects how people view us from outside, and all of it affects our economics. It affects who moves here. They're going to look at that data. They're going to look at Facebook. Before, before, before CDI came, they looked at our Facebook. They went to see what people were saying about us and what we were saying about ourselves, and they told us that. They studied us for two weeks before they came, and they had nothing but the Internet to do it on. And so we want to be real careful and we want to be mindful of the things that we're saying about ourselves as a community. Also, you have in front of you a PAFR, uh, some information on PAFR. Uh, if we go in together on PAFR, and that would include you, it would only be about 40 bucks. That means that they add the helicopter that takes you out of you. For us, it would only be uh, 40 bucks as a group. Uh, would you mind speaking to that for just a moment? And it could be an added benefit. Was that per 100 that I read? If 100, with 100 of us join, that would be? $40. Piece. $40 a piece. Yeah, that's correct. If we had 100 cattle better, we'd be $40 uh, per, per year. And we have found it in our budget where we can actually make it a benefit, did we? Or did we not? Mr. Green? Okay, we were able to find a way in our budget to come to that means, I mean, if you actually had to catch a plane to go and get services, that's in the tens of thousands, right? But if you pay that $140 a year, which is less than the 60 that an individual would pay, that would cover your going by helicopter to uh, a, a, a nearer hospital if you needed that. Not that just us individually, or that family, or I'll try the question. that family, or that just us Your immediate family, you and your immediate family. And we found a way to make it uh, a part of our benefits, and it would also include you as elected officials. Now, I have a, just one question. Uh, I like what I read, but I didn't get the details like, uh, do I qualify for one uh, flight a year? Or? Is there a limit? I don't know the answer to that. Question. Okay. That's a good question. Mm -hmm. Hopefully, you won't need more than that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> when, when you're dealing with families, right, right. Yeah. You know, and if somebody got small children, mm -hmm. you know, I, I mean, you know me, I'm a big into. It's still worth forty bucks. I can promise yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> no doubt. But I'm talking about the limit. You know, am I allowed two flights a year? And, okay, but I, I'd like to know. But I and think it's on paper, it's good. And next Tuesday, I will go before my commission and get their approval to add our employees benefit pay. We had it at one time, of course, that's not like the company went out of business and we lost it. Yeah. 
It's a good benefit to our yes. employees because they can be left sometimes with fifteen thousand dollar bills. I guess you negotiate those bills, but it's still a fight. You got to fight. Any other questions for me? Uh, one question, kind of regarding this: Does the city currently, the city does provide health insurance to its employees, right? Now, yes. Right? So, does our insurance not cover ambulance and? It covers um, eighty twenty. They pay eighty. We have twenty. Once you meet your deductible, right. the individual deductible is two thousand dollars the family deductible is six thousand dollars that includes the helicopters i called to make sure but it's limited to two years oh yeah it, yeah forty dollars will pay for it i know just say 50 50 grand so they negotiated down but it was it's a long time to get beat down it's uh it's easily tens of thousands of dollars in the best case. So you can fill out the form and turn it in? Or what, what is it? Well, yeah. That person here can't afford it. You know. uh, all right. The bank Yeah, yeah, an individual couldn't do that by himself, so we're grateful if they're fine. So what's our next step in that? To put it in the form of a. Uh, just a resolution. A motion. Just a motion. He said we just need the we don't have to have a motion. So the motions to include <laughs> this. Had 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 Oh, we've got a bit of budget. I was going to say, don't you have to have a budget? Look at this screen. Let's say we got the budget. Mr. Green, green, you've been summoned. Ah, we want to. What budget line? What, what are we saying? What are we, by saying yes to this, what are we saying no to our wealth? We, we, we have about 120 people that will be eligible just for the city. The question is, do you want to have part time people? Obviously, the elected mm -hmm. officials, yes. So, basically, the resolution would amend the budget for forty dollars times hundred and twenty. I don't know the exact number. Hundred and thirty, somewhere in that range. It's about one hundred and thirty, including the only thirty, right? Um, and it will be charged out to the different departments. I just would have to do the math on it and estimate. We're, but we're, we're not swapping out money from somewhere. We're going to add 40 grand or something to the budget. Well, well, we can stop if, you, if you want. There are, under, there are savings in the budget at this point in time because we've been understaffed in most departments. So the general fund is understaffed, and so we could absorb those costs. The other street and, and uh, Waste in the same situation, so we're underrunning the budget. I just don't have a line item. It's very okay. tedious to figure out that aspect. I will probably come back with a resolution. But I don't want to jeopardize it because that's a good thing, and we need to do it. Uh, let me let, let me just ask for a discussion here for myself. I feel our budget is scheduled to run four hundred thousand dollars short this year. We're overspending. And I, I just, uh, I can't vote for this with a clean conscience to cover myself for the $40 and add to that. Uh, yeah. They're getting ready for everybody. Do it. It's a good thing for the employees. I'm, I'm glad to do it, but I just. You can just write a check. Well, I mean, I, 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 I do, but just. Uh, I appreciate it. I was looking after that. I was looking at that question in a different way. Uh, he, the way he is. Uh, David explained to me is that if we had 100 plus, mm -hmm. uh, let's say if, if I paid for me and my family, myself, could I still be included in that group? You make, you make, make your check to the city. Yeah. Very, very complicated. Well, I know you're going to figure it out. And the only, the only, Downside, I would say waiting, but I think that would be better to have those. Everyone knows exactly who's covered and who's not. Is that their their amount is by the year, and is not prorated. I mean, if it, even if it was done right now, sure, it's, it's that amount. But so you only got you know three, four months. That's yeah. right. Three months later. 
It's it's January. No, it's it's a calendar. Oh, we have to do that. We didn't do that. Right. So it says right now this would expire January the 30th. Is way it's written. Is it a plan year? Yes. More than likely, it's going to be a plan year. Keep up with it. Yeah. January. January. I don't want it. The, so, to uh, simplify your life, <laughs> if we were to do this and then each of us on an individual basis were to make a charitable contribution to the city, would that make it easier? You can always make a charitable contribution. There you go. I take charitable contributions <laughs> too. <laughs> so, but, but what I want to make sure you all heard, I couldn't hear it all. Once you, I didn't understand where the plan started. It makes right. sense that it does. Once you put a name down on that plan, that's the name. So if they leave it to city, you can't add, you can't take away. Okay. So you pay them X dollars up front, four thousand dollars, forty eight hundred dollars, whatever the number is, and you're done. That's what is nice about it. Two things: it's easy to administer, and it's a heck of a benefit, especially for a small town. Yeah. And so on and so. At, at $40 a piece, time was 130 people, that would be $5,200 a year. So, but, but you're saying that the attrition rate that you right right should have of people leaving employment and there's someone new coming on, they keep the money for the old person and the new person is not covered right. until the next that's calendar the, That's year. the only downside. Yeah. Is that you that's the downside of that insurance. Once you're there, you're there. Once you're gone, you're back. Now, you mentioned a, you mentioned a number. Uh, I believe it was 100 and something. Is this just city employees? Do we cover the uh, fire department? Are they covered? Yeah, Police department? The, the, the 130, the 120, 130 okay. number is everybody in the city, and, and then the fire okay. department has X number of people plus commission. Right. So, okay. so that all counts together. Okay. <laughs> Does it re up automatically next year, or we got to bring it back up? We didn't renew it. Right. Yeah. But it's an automatic. Are we going to vote on it again next no, year? Next year. It's just going to. Okay. Unless the cost is accelerated, we'll come back to you and say, well, look, just like we do with the health plan, the health plan, right. Right. we have some caps on it. We might have to come back and say, look, it's now $80, and you have to go away with that. We'll, we'll pay for it, and the employee has to pay for it. So you would, you would have that option. Well, you can always end it. I mean, you can change any of them. Mm -hmm. That's your discretion. I will, I will say, like you stated a while ago, if you lose an employee, uh, that employee's been covered until January 31st. If you hire a new employee mid-year, you could still insure that new person. You just have to pay the $40 yeah, $40 insurance for, for the year. Mm -hmm. So, so we can do that by way of resolution, give us time yeah. to yeah. get more yeah. answers. Well, that Thank you so much. Another issue that I, I want to bring up is that there's some people who've been very uh, been complaining vehemently about the lack of being televised or their ability to see. And I think that it was just one. Uh, we're missing a part that makes it makes us TV ready. To my knowledge, to missing a part. And, uh, Parts of it expensive. Is it that expensive? It was five thousand. Who? It was five thousand dollars. You want to write that yet? Do you want to? I was going to say you trade off the air. <laughs> no, no, no. Don't trade that off yet. Just write, just write two checks. Write two checks. I'll do my forty dollars. And uh, you also had this ADQ letter that uh, where they're asking to to give us more information. So I just want to, you know, I got this letter and. We have it there. We'll try to see what we can do. Yeah. Yeah. All right, is there anything else? They are yeah, I, I just have one thing. Uh, I, I, we talked to uh, Mr. Shamir about some things, and that was on the buildings and stuff, and it's already been brought up. Uh, I got some uh, information for Mr. Travis on some houses. Uh, I've gotten a lot of complaints about it. I just get him a copy of what I got here. Uh, there was one other thing on the basketball court lights. Uh, I got a lot of guys shooting the late evenings and stuff, and when the lights don't come on, they come wake me up. 
when and why the lights don't come on. So if we get a chance, let's That's just have a clock. Have a clock. Just look at them, and, and I don't I don't know if it's that time or whatever we got over there now, but and you know they'll leave, and then I'll get up and leave by two o'clock. Lights on. So let's look at them sometime. Is there anything else before us tonight? I got a question. The uh, street assessments, have we done yet? Yeah, have we figured out which streets we want to be all narrowed down? I'm looking. I was going to start to be with you all before I did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to set up a Send out an email and meet with you all. Uh, it's called workshop. I have a workshop before I can make a decision on just picking the street. All good feeling. Oh, uh, that's what I was going to do first. Let me let me make another uh, add to what he's saying. Judge Michael, you just bought a uh, really nice uh, <coughs> pay uh, lay down machine and lay down machine, and he will have the ability to bid on some of the work for us. Okay. And as a result of that, we'll be able to get a little more bang for our buck. We have we have we have right at two two hundred thousand now. Four hundred and fifty thousand. Uh, that five hundred. <laughs> now we're going to get <laughs> Yeah, yes, sir. And we're going to use that. Now let me remind us that we did ask some of you to send in a 2020 plan. I do want to admit that uh, uh, if you still have an opportunity to do that, 20 and 20 was your suggestions of things you'd like to see done uh, in 2020. And uh, we asked for that at the beginning of the year. We also asked that you would give us the names of the streets that you wanted to do. That has ended up now having to be a workshop because some of us have not had an opportunity to give us the listing of your streets or your constituents have assured you that your streets are perfect. No. So, if, with an email, I would appreciate an email with the things that you would like to, for us to do or an email of the streets. It's not much homework. All you got to do is whatever people are complaining about it, we put it in a form and send it to... Uh, Mr. Uh, Director Dorsey, that would help us uh, so much um, if you just send in those lists of those streets and give us some of the ideas that some of the things that people are saying. I would much rather as a leader that instead of people just bombarding me with things on the streets that they would actually give you guys an opportunity to present some of those things as, as an album. Uh, the people skip by you and come straight to me with a lot of their issues. And I want them to know who you are. So I published your numbers and I published who you are, where you are, so that those people would have an opportunity to know that you're the first contact before just coming straight to me. I, there's only so much cussing you can take in a day. And people yeah, think, well, well, people think I'm Well, people think I know things that I don't know. And when they tell you they think they're talking directly to me, sometimes I guess. I don't know who they're talking to. They start on a 10 with me and it's just... You know, some of it just teeters on uh, just plain disrespect, disregard, and I would rather them have an opportunity to go through the protocol and to deal with you first, and then you bring those items to us in a more palatable manner. It's a shame, but the truth of the matter is, a lot of people in this city don't even know who they are. Who they got this you go online and you'll find no, out that that is 100 percent true. Yeah. Well, I'm just saying you need to get out and meet your constituents. When you ask them, who did you vote for? Man, yeah. yeah. know me. Yeah. All right. I'll ask the question because this has been come uh, come forward. I'm trying to think. I sent me a sent me a list of streets. I just wanted to write. Did anybody else do that? I said, yeah. yeah. Do I need some? Do I need three no, 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 no. Okay. I thought we were. We need to do it. Yeah. 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 Where are we going to lay streets based on age of last repair? Well, I, it, it's better. Thought that kind of threw me. Yeah, it'd be it'd be a better plan. Like Mr. Ellie said in the last not a couple of weeks before, it was like if you want a chip seal or you want to overlay. You know, that costs more money than you get. I'll take anything. Oh, yeah, you know, we can chip seal. You know, oh, you're having a chip seal. But, you know, you got chip seal, which is less than totally overlaid and milling up the road. You call but mine chip. chipped already. <laughs> <laughs> I just need yeah. street. Yeah. So, 
I'd rather have that meeting with y'all to sit down and talk and see which is yes, feasible. Which one y'all prefer? So you getting it together? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, I just sent an email which I worked with you all, majority, to come and we'll just sit down and talk about it. Okay. All right. Thank you. Is there any other business before us on tonight? If there's no further discussion, we can entertain a motion. I move that we close. Thank you.